And uh, welcome back to part two of Bullseye. The great crowd in tonight. And before you ring in, I did give them £340. I just made a little mistake. I don't make many now. <laughs> 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 It's the celebrity playing darts tonight. We've got a gentleman who has decided he's going to win a lot of money. When you see who it is, you'll know exactly what I mean. From Alvida's Zane Pet, please welcome Pat Roach. <laughs> you get bigger when we get nearer to you, you know. Keep taking the tablets. Yeah, I mean, you're a big fella. How heavy are you, Pat? Can we ask, Pat? 19, 5, 6. Are you really? And you, I mean, you, you really don't. I mean, you don't look fat. You look just well made, a big, healthy lad. Well, I like to think I keep in condition, work out most days. Do you really? I need to for Orphida Zane Pet. I've been training for the next Orphida Zane. Really? Which is when? Tell us well, when it we is. We start it. filming March, which is quite soon. Wasn't it a marvellous series? Well, it worked very well, didn't it? Tell us what are you doing now, sir, with yourself apart from Orphida Zane? Well, uh, we finished two or three months ago. Finished. Uh, the Last Place on Earth, which is a story of Scott of the Antarctic, yes. which is a controversial thing. The books have been put through court and the court cases have been That's won right. and the yeah, right. series has been made. This is central television. Yep. Indiana Jones, which is just about finished by now. Yes. I'm the guy that gets killed in the crusher. The big ugly guy oh, with the beard. Really? Yeah, yeah. What we'd like you to do tonight, Pat, if you would, is try and get us 301 or more with nine darts. If you can do that, we'll double it and give it to the charity chosen by our two lads tonight. But because you're not a dart player as a profession, we're going to give you 60 start. We've got a great man to score tonight who's decided you're going to do well. Please, a round of applause as Pat Roach throws for charity. In your room. <laughs> Seven foot, come a bit closer, Pat. That's about lovely, yeah. Best of luck. First start. That's a one. It's a 20. And that's a nine. So 30 plus 60, that starts you off with 90, Pat. You get better. Still six darts to go. That's a four. That's a one. And that's an 18, so that's 23. So with 113, there's still three darts to go. It's 20. One. And a treble five, so that's uh, 36 which gives you a grand total of 149. Meet, uh, meet the two boys who, who have decided uh, that the money is going to their charity tonight, that the two lads have got to the final, Jim and Alistair. Will you meet Pat Roach, boys? Hi, guys. Sorry I didn't score a lot oh, more. There we are. Quite all right. <laughs> we know he was trying hard, don't we? Tell us about the charity. Are you telling us, Jim? Yes, it's going to a local hospital equipment fund. That the money's all raised locally, and uh, it's the Garrick Hospital in Stranraer. Yes, and that will go there to get more equipment for the hospital. Yes. Thank you. Curtis, you're Pat Roach, that's what you've got. Thank you for coming on the show, Pat. Thank you. Have a good year next year. And all the best with our videos then. Best Bye -bye. of luck to all the boys. Thanks a million. Thank you. It's one of these guys who grows when you get up to it. What a nice fella. Very gentleman, actually. Very good. It's Bully's Prize board now, lads. Did you think you'd get to this stage in the game? No. Well, we're delighted to have you here. Come and have a look at it. Round it is. Bully's been out to the shops. He's got some marvellous prizes. He really has. And they're there for you to win, because in every red segment, that's where they're lying. In one, put on a wash day smile with this washing machine. In two, wake up to a friendly voice with this radio alarm clock. In three, artistry in glassware. These six crystal wine glasses and decanter. In four, aye, aye, it's a super prize. A pair of binoculars. In five. There's no need to feel lonely if you accompany yourself on this electric guitar. In six. Tackle that turf the easy way with a hover mower and electric trimmer. In seven. A really groovy prize. £100 worth of records of your choice. In eight. Something to perk you up. A coffee maker. And Bully's special prize... For your very own action replays, a VHS video recorder complete with remote control. Right, there you are, boys. Nine prizes, you heard what they were. Try and remember where they are on the board if there's anything you particularly want. And bear in mind Bully's prize, which is the bullseye, of course, VHS recorder. Nine darts, six for Alistair, three for Jim. First three going in now, over to Tony. Keep out of the black and in the red. OK, Alistair. That's a bullseye! You've won the VHS recorder. <laughs> Great. That's black. Black again. 
Three for Jim. And off we go. That's red. It's number eight. Marvellous. You won the coffee maker. That's out the board. That's black. So one prize there for Jim. And Alistair, final three darts, Alistair. Red, number two. You've won the radio alarm clock. It's in the black. But that's red, number seven. You've won the 100 pounds with the record, so you've had a fair old do there, boys. Oh, Let's right. have a look at what you've won. You've won the radio alarm clock, 100 pounds with the record, a coffee maker, and bully star price tonight, the VHS video recorder. You've done very, very well. In you come. <laughs> there you are. Bear in mind what you've won. You know you've won Bully's prize. Can you remember the others? You've, you've done all right. You've got four nice prizes. Look at me now. Right. Concentrate. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. Gamble the four prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. Your money's safe. 520 quid you take home anyway. And the 149 that Pat got, that's safe. The board's going round now. Think about what you've won. It's, well, what do you think, audience? They've won the prizes. What, come on, tell us. Help them out. Would you gamble? Would you gamble? Would you take the prizes? Ooh, I don't know. It's one of those difficult decisions. The board's round, boys. Tell me what you'd like we'll to do. We'll take the prizes. You're taking the prizes. Scottish caution. I think you're totally right. <laughs> Gentlemen. I said, I said locally, if yes. you up here at the end, yes. you are that in plastic bags and I'll go now. That, well, there you are. You've been, it's marvellous to see you, Jim. You've been so excited at doing well, and we're, we're delighted you've done that. There you are. £520 there. Your bullseye tankards, your badges and your darts. Take them with our compliments. Thank you for helping us to do a super show. Thank Off you. you go that way, Jim. Thank you very much indeed. Well done indeed. Marvellous. All right. Two really a bit tasty, though, rather Let's bring back from Central Television, Laurie and Harry. We left them ten minutes ago. Bring them back on. <laughs> now then, lads, you've done very well. You've worked so well for us tonight. I know you're a bit nervous, Harry, but yeah, you're back with right, us at yeah. the death, aren't you? Here yes, we go. Yeah. You've £340. I don't know how much that means to you. Does it mean enough to let you gamble it against tonight's star prize? 101 or more? Well, we've had a good day, Jim. Yes. We've had a grand time. We're going to take what we've got. You're going to take the money. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Yeah. Thank you, Harry. Well done. Off you go, Harry. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. We, uh, we really do feel a bit special when they tell us they've had a nice day because we work hard at it for them. We bring back the couple from Ulster. They went at the beginning with £80. Pounds. They're back with the chance now to win a lot more than that. But let's bring back Brian and Celia. <laughs> Well, we lost you about 20 minutes ago, didn't we, with £80? Yes. You've got it there, Brian. What do you think? Are you going to have a go for the prize? Yes, Jim, we'll have a go. I'll look after it for you, sir. I, I really don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> 101 or more with, with six darts. All right, Celia to throw first. Brian, you come and stand with me. Now, just relax, take your time and listen to Uncle Tony. Come on, here we go. Stand with me, Brian. Celia, up to the occupant. We're all rooting for you now. So comfortable, Celia. We'd love nice you to do easy. well. Listen yeah, to Tony. Yeah, that's talk. fine. That's lovely. OK, off we go. Best of luck. Star prize. That's a ten. That's a seven. And that's a twelve, so that's twenty-nine. Brian, you need seventy-two or more for tonight's star prize. That's a five, sixty-seven left. Well, you can't do it now. Unlucky, but that is the oh, gamble. It would have gone in the chill. Never right. You're absolutely right to do it. You're right. I know it wasn't a lot. Have a look at it. Look at it. It's a super inflatable boat. It would have taken four of you folded up in the car with a power an engine on the back. Never mind. Just stay with us a second. Stay with us a second. Thank you very much for watching Bullseye. Thanks to our audience, to Pat Roach, Tony Green, a lovely studio audience tonight. Watch us next week because uh, you can't beat a bit of bullets. Bye.